This is Port-au-Prince, Haiti. The conditions here are unlike anything we as Americans are familiar with. Here are the grounds of an orphanage. Barbed wire falling off the fence into the yard where the kids play and burn trash everywhere. Outside the orphanage on a soccer field in front of the home of the former mayor of Port-au-Prince now sits the 10th city that sprung up after the 2010 earthquake and looks to be quite permanent almost four years later. Here are the children of the House of Hope Orphanage. Relatively happy kids, they eat twice a day and go to school where the teachers don't get paid much, if at all. Children that grow up in an orphanage, even if getting a basic education, have nowhere to turn once they're adults and are no longer in the safety of the orphanage. That's why Spare Coin is having this fundraising campaign, to buy leather sewing machines, leather material, and pay teachers to teach these children a trade for when they're on their own. When those kids uh, become of age and they get out of the orphanage, you send them out on the street, they have nothing to live on, they don't have any skills. So what we are attempting to do is to provide a means for those kids to survive, to be able to live and to provide for themselves and their families. Just like the Bible says, give a man a fish, feed him for, for a day. Teach a man how to fish, you feed him for life. So this is what we're trying to do with Spare Coin, give those underprivileged uh, kids an opportunity to become productive human beings. And if we reach our goal of $7,500 to buy leather, sewing machines, leather materials, and teacher instruction, any and all money received over that goal will be used for food, clothing, medical care, and schooling for these children. And I hope that the Lord will send me someone to take care of the children and I could get rest. Yeah. My name is Peter Illis. I'm a board member of Sparecoin, and this is my personal goal, to make this old and loving man's last years on this earth be as much at peace as possible, knowing his orphans will be taken care of even when he's gone. Getting to see the pictures and hopefully videos coming back from the children uh, just puts a light in my heart. So I'm really proud to be a part of the organization and hopefully lots of other people will get involved. So Julian, tell us why you like to help um, the orphans in Haiti. Because it makes me feel good. It, make, it makes me touch God. 